assignment, we are going to be doing some of the, some more equations, and we're going to be looking at adding up the totals uh, for each of the regions and each of the regions by artist. Uh, so we're going to be looking at some different ways to do this. Some of them are better than others. Some of them are easier than others. So I'm just going to show you some of the examples in here. So what we're going to be doing again is we're going to be adding up the totals by region. So I'm going to start down at the bottom. I'm just going to skip a few spaces, going to put in the title totals, spell it correctly. And then I'm going to add up the totals for the U.S., Canada, Latin America, Asia, Europe, right across the board. And then I'm going to add up the totals as well for Metallica and for Taylor Swift. So one way that you can do it is just straight math. So again, you always start with an equal sign. So if I wanted to do the totals for everything, I could literally put equals and click on the first one and then just go plus this one 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 my goodness i just keep adding and 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 adding till i get down to the bottom press equals i got my total okay so that's one way that you can do it i don't know why you would but that is one option because this is basically just a big calculator and that would be the total of them to add them all up but of course, we want to do it a much easier way. So that way, we're going to call the hard way. Title that hard way because that took a lot of work. Now we're going to show you the easy way, which is an equation that we already know, and that is to use the sum. So we're again going to go equals and then sum. And then I'm going to click on the first one that I want to add up, hold down shift, click on the last one that I want to add, this time doing the whole column rather than the row. Press enter, and voila, much quicker, same number, same result. Okay, so now I am going to do it for Taylor Swift, for her total. So I'm going to go Taylor. And I'm going to do, first way I'm going to do it for Taylor is going to be, I'm going to call it the easy way for Taylor. I'm going to do the same thing, except just for Taylor Swift's ones. So again, I'm going to go equals sum. Click on sum, click on the first one for Taylor, hold down shift, click on the last one, press enter. Okay. And then I'm going to do Metallica, same thing. Right here. Again, easy way. And then equals sum, and then go up to the first Metallica one, hold down shift, and go down to the last Metallica one. Okay, so that does it. That adds up my sums for each of those by region. That works fine. The problem with that is that if I were to change the sorting of this spreadsheet, then these are cell-dependent, these equations. So right now, this equation is uh, the sum of D14 to D22. But if I change what's in D14 and D22, the equation doesn't know that. It's just going to keep adding them. So if I change the sort and say I want to sort them by year or sort them by some other method, okay, whatever new cells appear in there are going to be part of the equation, and the numbers will no longer be for Taylor Swift, and they will no longer be for Metallica. So we don't want to do it that way if we know we're going to be changing the data. So I call that the easy way. So another way that we can do it is and this is not necessarily any better, um, but we'll call this the smarter way. I'm gonna put a question mark, because it may not be the smarter way. And we'll do Taylor first. So this doesn't really solve our problem necessarily. But another way that you can do it, which we will use in some of our other assignments, is you can name a range. And that gives you a little bit less math to do. So for example, if I click on the cells that I want to add up, and then up at the top here, okay, I already got it typed in there, but you can type a name in there to label that. I'm going to call that Taylor US. I had already done that, so it's already labeled that. I'll show you for another one, okay? So if I label that Taylor US, that gives this batch of cells a name. So this one's not done yet. This would be Taylor Canada. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like there. So when I select them, it tells you what cells you have selected there, E14 to E22. But if I call this now, type in, Taylor, call it Canada, underscore can, okay? Then that allows me to give that a name and then press enter to make sure that it saves it. So now what I do is I can do that sum equation, again, equals sum, 
And now I'm going to start typing in Taylor. And there you can see it has those names up there. So I wanted to do this one. So again, rather than typing in and clicking, holding down shift and doing that, if I've given it a name, I can do that. And that will give me the same answer. I'll do the same thing for Metallica. Again, smarter way. So I'll copy this down. And it's the same thing equals sum. I've already named that one Metallica US. So I go to Metallica, Metallica US. And that's going to select all those ones up top. Okay. And again, I have the right answer, except a little bit less typing. The problem is, is it's the same thing. It's dependent on the cells. So if I do change the sorting order of this, those equations are all going to be wrong. And I'll show you that in the end. So what I want to do is I want to use an equation that's always going to add up the ones for Taylor and always going to add up the ones for Metallica, regardless of how it's sorted. And so to do that, we're going to use another equation called sum if. So this one we're going to call the best way. Taylor. Okay, and so this one is equals sum if, if. And this one is sum if, and you want to say sum if, if anything in this column says, so you go A to A by clicking on that A column, comma, and then quote, and then I put in Taylor Swift, quote, comma, and then I say, if that's the case, add up this column, D to D. Press enter. There I got my number again. And now because it's actually being smart now, it's just looking for the ones that say Taylor Swift. Even if I change the sorting of this, it's still going to get the right answer. So now I'll do the same thing for Metallica. That's way. And again, equals sum if bracket, click on A, comma, quote, and then I'm going to type in Metallica. Make sure I spell it right, because if you spell it wrong at all, it's not going to work. It's just going to say that it can't find it. Uh, so make sure that you have it spelled correctly. And then again, comma, and then it's going to get the stuff to add up from this column. Press enter, and voila, now I have the right numbers in there for those. And so now if I change the sort, say if I wanted to sort it differently, let's go in here, data, sort range, has a header row again. And then let's say I wanted to sort it by artist, but then wanted to sort it rather than by total sales, I wanted to sort it by, let's say, uh, year. So if I change my sort, now you can see that the other ones, the easy way, the questions are now... No, that was the totals. Let's do it a little differently here so you can actually see something change here. Let's go data. Take them out of the artist sort. So go to data, sort, and has a header row. And this time we're just going to sort them by year. Okay. So now you can see the numbers have changed down here. So the, these numbers are still the same because it's still the same amount of area that we're adding up for but then the individual ones these here are now wrong it wasn't 30 and 68,450 it was 34,000 and 64,915 these ones stayed the same these ones all switched because the data cells that were they were calculating have now all moved around so your numbers are no longer any good so I'm just going to undo that and then undo that again back to where I should have been in the beginning that should be right now by album sales. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now my numbers are back to correct. All right, so now I'm going to copy these across and see what happens. So if I copy these across... I can see that doing it the easy way and the hard way, okay, the numbers were correct. They added them all up for the first four. Now, the smarter way, that didn't work anymore because it was, when I copied that, it's still saying it's looking for you at Taylor US. So it's just getting the same number over and over again. So those ones 
those numbers are wrong for the rest of them going across. And then you see my, my best way, oh my goodness, it didn't work. So the reason that it didn't work is that as you move an equation over, if you copy and paste it over, it's now moving, shifting all the cells that are cell-based to the next one over. So now it's looking for the B column for Taylor Swift and then adding up the E column. I wanted to add up the E column. I wanted to look for Taylor Swift, but I don't want it to look for Taylor Swift in the B column, although she did release one album called Taylor Swift. So I found one thing. So what I need to do now is I need to fix this equation so that it is correct. And so I'm going to delete all these and I'm going to go back to the thing I just showed you, which is the naming arrange. And rather than look for it in AA, I'm going to name AA name. So I'm going to type in the actual word name. And then. Oh, OK. And then I'm going to change that equation rather than search A for that. I'm going to have it actually search name. And so that this stays, it doesn't go BB. It just stays always looking for that name. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the Metallica one. Rather than searching the A column for the name Metallica, it's going to search saved range name of name. And then it's going to try and find Metallica there. So now when I copy this one and paste it, it should work. Okay. These numbers are correct, the same as the ones up above, and they're sort proof, which means that if you change the sorting on here, these ones will still cur uh, have the right answer. So let's just test it out here just to be sure. So for example, uh, for the H column, it's 4.9 million and 30 million for Metallica, almost 31 million. So again, if I change my sorting, go in here, sort my range just to test it out, it has a header row, and I'm just going to sort by year sort and so i can check that h column again that stayed 4.9 and th almost 31 but you can see up here the taylor the easy way those ones are now the wrong numbers so i'll undo that to get everything the same good good okay so that's some different ways of using the sum equation uh, there are several ways to use that sum equation and several ways to get the numbers for the sum equation. So you need to work smarter when you're doing working with data and working on spreadsheets, uh, again, to try and make sure that it works, especially if you're going to have a data set that you're going to add to. Because if we're going to continue to add in albums on here uh, for Taylor Swift or for Metallica, if they release a new one, we want to be able to have our equations be able to meet that. And the only way that we're going to be able to add data to this set and have it remember it is if we actually use uh, those named ranges and we use the sum if equations uh, and look for specific things. Otherwise, as soon as we add new data, our numbers here are no longer valid. All right, so the best way is the best way. Good luck. Have questions, let me know.